are going with somebody I've never talked about once. We had a falling out and I haven't spoken to him for four years. I don't know, I don't taste it like crap to me. Seriously? <laughs> everybody as you can see I'm rocking a gorgeous look today and I got cute mini ears these are supposed to represent the movie Coco which is my favorite Disney movie let me tell you you know I'm on a second with this one. Oh my goodness I loved it so we are going to food and wine festival I have taken the extra steps to you know make sure my health won't be a problem today so I'm excited. I'm ready to grab and go crazy. Crazy. Now the proportions in Food and Wife Festival are really small. I'm gonna be splitting it with Paul, of course, so I can have a lot of things to eat, you know, here and there. Because the name of the game is not eat a lot of food in every place. The plates are like that big, so they're enough to have like two or three bites of a little taste of every country you go to. Yeah. Look at my pimp and lipstick. I think that's gonna be my new thing, wearing really exotic colors. Cause my mom was a little jelly. She was just like, your skin tone fits all these beautiful colors. Like I've tried blue, purple. It's really nice, I like it, don't you? It's cute. It's long lasting and it, Thinking about trying it on myself too, but she said no, so. My lipstick is long lasting and it's matted. So, and I bought like a whole colorful set on Amazon and they are, Amazing. Yeah, because I hate it when she puts a lip, limp, lip, lip plumper. I hate it. Because then she gives me a kiss Tingles. and it's just like tingling and I hate it. And I just bought a new lip plumper and you wouldn't like it because that is extra tingly. No. Oh. Tingly. Anyway, I don't know if you guys have noticed, Orion is in here. Where's my pup? Oh, today has been very adventurous. So what happened with Orion when I got home is his nail was broken off. So the vet very simply didn't have to amputate. They just cut higher on the nail. Yeah. And it hurt him because they're cutting the vein. And he's like, we did like a little, we never hear Orion crying. He's like, Arr! when they told me he was going to cry, I'm like, Psh, my dog never he's cries. Mad. Yeah, no, he cried. <laughs> he was like, Arr! it wasn't a big deal, but it was just like one little yelp. Anyway, so he's doing good. Yeah, he's doing fabulous, you know, but the vet said he could work today, but I didn't want to risk it. I want him to relax and take it easy. They bandaged it and they said within 24 hours, take off the bandage and he's all good and to go. So I may give him the next couple of days off just for my sake to make sure, you know, you're good and you're fine. So I'm just going to let him rest it out. And we did, we want to make sure that he's not going to like try to take off the bandage or something. So we left him with Paul's sister who loves him too much, mm -hmm. too much for comfort, but it's great. Now today we are going to Epcot and we are going with somebody I've never talked about once. And I've never gotten uh, questions about it. We are going to Food and Wine Festival with my father and his uh, new wife and kids. And we've been hanging out a little bit more. But let me tell you the history behind me and my dad. Now I'm not going to go into full details, but um, a long time ago we had a falling out. And I haven't spoken to him for four years because that's how mad I was and I will hold a grudge mm -hmm. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. but now we are good again I started talking to him I opened up you know his new wife is amazing and she has like three sons so you know if we all combined our family I'm still the only girl in this family there's like we have I have my two brothers and then she has three boys so that's five boys in the family I'm like calling all the ladies come on me and my father have been fixing our relationship it's going great I decided I was just like why not all of us go to food and wine festival you know get to know each other and make this family stronger and he agreed and he's like let's go I'm so happy to, that you're back in my life and you know I'm happy too so we are on our way to food and wine festival and I'm excited for the very first time to introduce you guys to my father on the vlog We are finally in. Literally, it took forever just to get into this park. 
because our passes were just screwed over. I don't know. We had to go see guest services. Guest services was really long. Nah, I couldn't handle it. I was like, hurry up. We're kind of late meeting my family here. And if you know, if anybody knows me super well, they know that my biggest number one pet peeve is lateness. I'm very punctual. And if I'm late, no lie, I will be freaking out. Like, let's go. We are here in Epcot. Yay. And we are ready to eat. Now, as you can see, this is my lovely father. Hi. Hi. I call him Papi. Yeah. And then this is his lovely wife, Evelyn. Hi. And soon we will see her kids, my stepbrothers. We're all cool and let's enjoy today. Now we're all together and I'm so happy and I'm ready to eat. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. There goes my dad. My dad's a young person at heart, so you guys are going to see him acting pretty silly today. So, let's go! So we are here and I have had my first delicious plate. It's, um, I have no idea. What is it? Canadian filet mignon. I can't say that. Filet Megan. And it's from Canada. Who knew Canadians knew how to make some good ass I love how I got that on camera. This is gonna be a time lapse, so you gotta be frozen like that so you could be actually seen. Just keep doing <laughs> So we are here now in Paris. They are hilarious, my brother. And I got escargots. If you guys don't know what that is, it's nails. And I told my dad about it, and he's like on edge. And I was just like, we're gonna share it. And let's see how you like it. So I'm sharing all my food with everybody, so you know, they can have a little bit of a delicious taste. Now the escargots were delicious. I did share with everybody else. Let's see what they thought of it. Go ahead. It was edible. Oh, there we go. Edible. <laughs> it was delicious. Fantastic. Well, you didn't have it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> didn't have it. And? I don't know. It tasted like crap to me. Seriously? <laughs> it tasted good. There you guys go. This is Gabby, my brother from another mother. Because he does have two other brothers. How do you like having a sister? You know, I'm lame. I, I kind of like it. I always wanted a sister. No, it's just I, I, I was supposed to have an old sister. Maybe it's you. Yep, I am the oldest. Yeah, you know. Thank you so much for pushing me. Yeah. See, family helps each other. It's pretty cool. So, what's the next thing you're going to eat? I don't know. He's uh, eating the world. Yeah, well right now I'm Belgium. You see, he liked the, the Canadian steak that I had. I told him how the S car goes and just trust my taste buds. Yeah. And he didn't. That's devastating. Alright. So guys, next up I will be talking to my other brother. And you guys get to know him too. So, all the ladies are putting on ears. Janice already has hers. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, that's a fine for you. So all the ladies do the photos and now all the siblings, so there we go. You gotta put one on, man. You gotta put one on. Nice. Fanny Pony. Dosti. You are so freaky. I can't read a man. So we are here with my other brother from another mother, Brian. Yes, they have been super supportive of me vlogging and having the camera in their face, so that's really nice. How do you like having a sister? Um, the sister that I never had. Because we were all brothers, so... And you have two other brothers extra, too, so... We do. Yeah. I'm the only girl. Like, it seems like the world hates me. But there should only be one girl because I'm so fabulous. Now, it's funny because these two here have been non-stop horse playing, hitting each other, piggyback rides. What else have you been doing? Boys will be boys. Yeah, right? <laughs> now, I won't lie, when I get together with my brothers, we get a little bit, you know, crazy too. What siblings don't? I feel like when you get older with age, it gets better and fun. My camera ran is Brian. Thank you so much. All right. And right here I have a duck bun. What, what, what is this called? I don't know. Chicken dumpling. 
Beijing roasted duck in a bowl. There you go. I would have never remembered that. One tone. Let's just tell my dad, my dad, guys. Anyway, so uh, I've never had duck, but my lovely brothers here are like raving it. They're like, duck is so good, it's so amazing. Even one of them eats squirrel. Tell us about your squirrel. Yo, squirrel. You gotta have a squirrel. I'm gonna have it. He said he's gonna uh, he's gonna kill one for me and then uh, make it. I'm oh, sorry for you guys. Uh, uh, vegans. I apologize. He kills them nice. I, I eat them. I eat all of them. It's worth it. I don't, I don't waste food. Would you eat a popcorn? You don't waste food. Maybe it's a. Yeah. There you go. Or so, guys, we had a fun time here in Food and Wine Festival. We ate a lot. We're going to still keep going. But this is where I end my vlog. So, guys, I hope you guys had a fun time with my family here. So, for now, adieu and goodbye. Bye. Bye.